Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to actually be doing this video because I've wanted to do it for at least two years but I've just not felt that it's the right been the right time for me, for me personally anyway. What I want to talk about is how I've transferred my diet, my training routine, going from competing and that lifestyle that it comes with over to just training, eating for general life. And it sounds like it's very straightforward, but if you've ever done uh, a diet, like a competition diet, or been in that sort of routine for long periods of time, it's actually quite difficult. So for me doing this video, like a year, two years ago, I would probably be lying to you <laughs> if I said that it was easy. So that's the main reason why I've only just now felt comfortable sitting down and doing this video for you guys because I want to be honest with you, I want to be transparent, I want to tell you how, thing, how hard things are but also how easy it can be. Um, and I want to have lived that myself, I want to have done it, I want to have got now to a place where I feel comfortable to now then tell you. So hopefully you can take away lots and lots of different things from this video. But the one thing that I want you to take away is that it can be done. You can have a great relationship with training with food after going from competing lifestyle, very, very structured, very regimented, to living a more balanced life. And I know that balance is quite a cliche word. However, there is such thing. And I'm about to tell you how. <laughs> if you'd like to know, keep watching. As I say, this is something that is exciting for me to be able to, to go over. And it's not been easy. I'm telling you that now but I feel in a good place to be able to tell you. So let's get into it. The first thing that I want to talk about are goals. Now I talk about goals quite a lot, like quite a lot. But before my goal with competing would be, I've got a show on this specific day and that's in probably 16 weeks time. So. I will start my diet 16 weeks before that date. And up until that up until that day, I'll eat as much as I can, I'll drink as much as I can. I'll probably won't train that that much because after that point I can't have any of that stuff. I'm not allowed it because I'm on a diet. And then when it gets to that point, that that date, that show date, I'll either carry on cuz it might I might have extended that. I might have extended it another four weeks because I've got another show in four weeks. So I'll keep restricting myself, get to that show, done it, done my competition. Now I'm allowed all those things that I've not been allowed for for the last 20 weeks. So I'm going to eat all of it. <laughs> I'm going to eat all of it, I'm going to drink all of it and I'm not going to fucking train. But obviously <laughs> that's not great, is it? <laughs> so how I've sort of changed that is I still have goals but I've sort of changed these along the, along the way so that I don't go through that spiral of stopping myself, getting to that point and then wondering what the hell to do after that point. I will work on my strength. I will work on, like for example, I've recently been working on my running, my running pace, um, increasing distance at each week and just general fitness. They are more suited suitable goals for me they're things that I can measure but I don't put a date on it I don't put a date where I want to be able to lift this amount by this specific date because if I get there and I can't do it I'm only gonna upset myself basically and they go hand in hand with nutrition because you can't reach your strength goal you can't reach your um, running you can't reach your cycling goal your distance things like that without having the right nutrition and they, yeah, I think they go hand in hand. And for me to be able to reach those, I need to be eating the right things. I need to be able to fuel my body with the right, with the right things, with the right amounts of things. Um, so 
you can reach them goals and you know if it, if you do get to a point where you're like actually I can now run that pace I can now lift that amount I can now I now feel pretty fit you can then carry on you can then increase those goals you can then extend them remember it's a marathon and not a sprint because training and fitness health and fitness it's a long game I'm not gonna sit here and say there's any quick fix the aim of it is to fit your lifestyle. If you want something to be consistent, it needs to fit in with your life. But that you've got the rest of your life to do it, so why would you want it to be over? <laughs> why would you be? I want it to be over pretty quick, you know? Does that make sense? This is going to be a lot of word vomit, guys, but I really hope you can understand where I'm coming from with a lot of these different points. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the next thing that I... I'm going to focus on is training so my training has changed a lot over the last five well I stopped competing 2016 I believe was my last show so it's like four years ago yeah this October it'll be four years now that's a long time like like a long time <laughs> it only feels like it was last month to be honest but it has literally taken me this long to feel comfortable to sit here and say to you this is this is the way that it is because before like I say I think I would have probably been lying but anyway back to training so my training has changed and evolved <laughs> quite a lot in the last four years I've gone from bodybuilding and that's pretty much it <laughs> to now doing basically a whole load of stuff so i've tried powerlifting in that time i've done a bit of crossfit i still do a bit of the bodybuilding stuff because it does create a really solid base for any training regime and basically what i'm trying to say with training is you could try whatever you want you could do whatever you want with training as long as you enjoy it um and in terms of cardio things like that i, I incorporate that into my training so I'll do if I have like a strength workout I will probably do a long cycle because I've got into cycling I'm now a cycling lycra <laughs> I even I even am running now it's the training that I love I love getting my heart rate super high I love getting a sweat on um, but then I also love the strength pieces if you find something that you love then stick to it you're not always going to love the same thing. So four years ago, I loved bodybuilding. I loved doing 45 minutes of shoulder work. <laughs> Things change, guys, don't they? You might like that outfit that you wore four years ago, but four years later, sometimes you think, did I really actually wear that? But yeah, things change. You start to enjoy different things. You try different things and that should evolve, training should evolve with you. And that is what took my focus away from aesthetics because bodybuilding was very focused on aesthetics. So I would train specific body parts to create a specific look. Now, but now I can do a whole load of different exercises. I don't worry about what they're, um, what they're doing to create a certain look. But actually, aesthetics, I feel... I look the best now compared to what I did maybe four or five years ago because ultimately you, you're still going to build your strength if you're doing resistance training and you're pushing yourself those aesthetics they're gonna come because you're eating right you're doing the training right there's literally nothing else and that was something that really changed my way of thinking because I wasn't doing these set exercises for this set muscle. I was just doing things that I enjoy. So yeah, if you're not enjoying it, don't fucking do it, change it. Do something else that you like. And that is how you fit it into your lifestyle. Do things that you enjoy, that you've got the time to do. Because otherwise it is boring. <laughs> Moving on to food. Now this is obviously a huge part of going from a competing lifestyle to a regular, fitness health and fitness lifestyle um and this is the part that's taken me the longest the training part is just something that's evolved over the time 
I've always loved training, but the food has been the hardest for me to get to grips with because I did have quite an unhealthy relationship with food and it was just basically a shit cycle. I tried to stop dieting as such. I don't sort of say I'm going to start a diet on this day. Uh, my diet is just my everyday food that I eat. My diet can include burgers, pizzas, that is still classed as my everyday diet. I sort of try and take the emphasis away from dieting and I, I, to just tell myself that I don't actually do it anymore because I don't. I eat to, to reach my goals and that should be the case for everyone if you want to live this sort of lifestyle. Um, I don't do cheap meals, cheap meals, I don't do cheap days. If I want a burger, I'll have a burger. But I don't work out to make up for what I've eaten. I eat to make sure that I can work out because if I'm not eating enough, then halfway through that session, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I'm absolutely starving and I feel like shit basically. So yeah. And I know that people say food is fuel, but I love food and food should be enjoyed. So if you want pizza and wine, then have it, you know, don't feel guilty about it because you're the only one that's chosen to have it. And I used to feel, I used to feel guilty about that, but at the end of the day, food is probably the one thing that you can, you can control yourself every single day of every day of your life. So just enjoy it, enjoy the food that you're eating and if it makes you work that little bit harder the next day because you've just got so much more energy then enjoy that like love that <laughs> because that's how it should be because you don't have that end goal that you need to get to it's sort of a case of saying you know what if I want this this food today that's absolutely fine because I can have it whenever I want there's no set point when, when I have to stop having it. No set date when I can have that afterwards. The last thing is don't compare yourself to anybody else because I put something on my Instagram yesterday which I thought was absolutely spot on. If we all ate the same, if we all did the same exercises day in, day out, then we would all still look different. And that is a, a fucking great point, I think, because I used to spend... <laughs> way too much time looking at other people to th that I was possibly going to compete against and pick myself apart because I didn't have the same legs as her, I didn't have this, that or the other, I won't even go into it but I spent just way too much time doing that and not focusing on myself, on my own training and I, yeah, it was just shit because why, why would we compare ourselves to someone who is completely different, completely different body shape, completely, you know, different person. I don't know how I can emphasize that anymore. Use people as inspiration, as motivation, but just don't compare yourself because you, you're never gonna be that person, but they are never gonna be you. That is literally the last, the last point and probably the most important for me. As soon as you stop doing that, your body will be like, oh, actually she loves me a little bit, so I'm gonna give her what she wants. With social media, it's so easy for us to compare our lives or our bodies or our hair, <laughs> our fucking fingernails to other people. But take a step back, realise that you are you and your body is only going to look after you as much as you look after it. I sound like a right preachy, preachy person right now. But I feel like these are points that not everybody thinks about. Um, and I know that I know that I didn't a lot of these because you don't actually know them until you've been through it but if someone was to tell me all these different things I feel like I've had to learn these myself but if someone was to tell me them I'd be like oh yeah well, maybe I should have thought about that four years ago but I didn't you live and you learn <laughs> anyway I'm probably gonna because I've chatted now for 25 minutes probably gonna have to edit the shit out of this so it makes a little bit of sense but I really hope that you've taken something away from this video let's have a chat in the comments about how you have gone from competing to lifestyle or if you have any questions for me about how I can help you guys then just let me know I'm always here either on here or on Instagram anything any anywhere anyway <laughs> let's chat uh, but yeah thank you so much for 
listening. So much for watching my YouTube videos. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.